What's up, good people? I hope you are doing extremely well. The topic of today's video is money problems that are not your fault. And this is really a continuation of a conversation we're having in another video about some extenuating circumstances that may be causing you know, your money decisions or your poor money decisions based on things that have happened to you previously in life such as, you know, the way you grow up and, you know, some other factors. So I wanted to talk about those other factors in this video and just provide, you know, just a little bit of insight into, you know, how we get through those things. How do we cope with those things? And, you know, because so some of those things can be things that are really outside of our control. And sometimes when we know that they're outside of our control and we can kind of get away from placing blame on ourselves, um, we can, can begin to move away from, you know, the feeling uh, that we're having that is keeping us in the place that we're in. One of the first things that I found that is a major contributor to how we perceive money or control our finances is the way we grew up. You know, what what kind of environment we grew up in. We may have been being taught, you know, how to perceive money in an environment that you know, may have been uh, centered around scarcity of money or, you know, one that may have been centered around abundance. So de depending on that environment and how we were kind of brought into that environment and brought up around those money decisions that we saw in front of us, it really does impact how we deal with money today and how we enter into relationship with money. Which brings me to my next point of, you know, things that are kind of outside of our control when we get into relationships with people that may be having financial issues um, and we build lives with you know people that have financial issues, whether that be through marriage or just extended relationships, um, those things we kind of take on and they become a part of the ecosystem that we govern ourselves in with money. So a lot of times we can be of the right mindset ourselves about money, but because of the relationships that we get into and the people we care about and the people that love us and how we enter into different things with those people, we may have situations where <clears throat> certain money decisions are being made in a way that are coming from a different perspective. And those things ultimately affect us in a way that may not be in line with what we're thinking. And um, I just want to lend that, you know, this is not always your fault. And this can be something that over time may build up into other areas or may get out of hand. But just knowing that it's not your fault and it can be corrected once you recognize that this may not be your fault and it's not your behavior, but you are in a situation that is, you know, moving in line with the behavior of some something else or someone else that may be going through those things. So, you know, knowing first off that, hey, this is not my behavior and being able to bring that to the person that is going through that or is the cause of those things or, you know, them not understanding that they're the cause of those things. And they be they they may even have, you know, issues in their background themselves that you can help them work through if they are the person that, you know, has that mindset of, you know, not being able to deal with money situations in the same manner that you're able to deal with money situations so that you both can grow. So it's really important that you first understand that if you are in a situation where you are the person that is of the right mindset around money and you are still always in a perilous situation due to being in a relationship with someone else that has those issues, being able to sit down with that person and say, hey, this is something we, we want to address, we want to talk about or we need to talk about so that we both can move forward in the right direction uh, find it from a financial standpoint. It's a very helpful thing to be able to do that. And I know this is easier said than done. And a lot of times these situations are the things that cause people to be separated in marriage, cause people to have, you know, um, uh, relationships that don't flourish and blossom the way that they should because they get hung up on these money issues. But I think it's something that you really do have to recognize first. It's not your fault and it may not even be the other person's fault because they may be, as we said in number one, experiencing money through the lens of the way that they grew up. And, you know, being able to address that will help them, you know, get through from that point to the next phase of what they're doing. 
Um, now, there are other circumstances that also cause us to have, you know, bad relationships with money or uh, make decisions or start to make decisions um, that are detrimental to, you know, our financial futures. And sometimes those decisions have been made for us. For instance, in the instance of, you know, someone stealing your identity, you know, identity theft is a major contributor to kind of ruining people's financial situations. So that's another instance where you need to understand that, hey, it's not your fault and you really need to take a step back if you are experiencing financial hardship because of a, a financial theft or something of that nature, you know, take a step back. Don't put the blame on yourself because we can get and that's really what I'm trying to the point I want to make is that we can get in the cycle of placing blame on ourselves and really cause ourselves to make even worse decisions based on us not being able to really think objectively about where we are mentally in terms of money. Because we may have a great mindset when it comes to money, but because we are in a situation that is leading us down a path of financial debauchery or just down a path of financial turmoil, we may start to adopt or adapt certain behaviors that are in line with that type of, you know, financial situation just to cope with what's happening. And, you know, the first step is, like I said, to understand that, hey, it's not your fault and it's not you. You are not that, you know, you are not of that mind that is doing those things. You're just experiencing that. And that's just an experience. And you can and will get through that situation if you start to take those steps objectively um, so that you can get from point A to point B to point whatever, you know, from that situation, you will get through it. So, you know, just wanted to say that, you know, definitely start thinking about that in those terms and don't allow yourself to, you know, lash out at others. And this is for people who are in those relationships that they may be having, you know, those issues or those conversations around money that are hard and are difficult. You know, try not to lash out at each other, um, at other people about what's happening financially. Really try to start thinking about object objectively what you can do, because there is a way out of those situations. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and it's actually more beneficial if you can work together with someone in a situation because, you know, two heads or two incomes are better than one in a lot of, a lot of situations. So, you know, if you can sit down at a table and really start to navigate your way through those situations, there's something that you can get through. And I just wanted to touch on this a little bit more because I know when we were talking about emotional intelligence and, you know, how those different things, different factors kind of play into, you know, our mindset in terms of money. I just wanted to touch on this again and kind of go in a little bit more detail about the different kind of scenarios that do lead to a certain specific kind of mindset around money. And, you know, just so that we can start to think about, you know, am I in that place? Am I one of, in one of those scenarios right now? You know, and how if I am, how do I start to change that scenario so that I can become better equipped to get into the place I want to be in terms of money or in terms of my financial future? So really think about that right now. If you can really think about start to think about, you know, if you are in those situations, if that is the place you're in right now, how to move and navigate yourself out of that situation and move into the situation you want to be in financially. So I hope this was really helpful for someone. And um, if you have not done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. Please do like this video and we'll see you in the next one.